Okay, welcome to the podcast every day. Start over. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. We have our first guest today. I'd like to introduce you to Sophia Julio. Hey, everybody. It's National Women's Day today. This isn't going to come out on National Women's Day, but we're representing women in the cannabis industry today. And all women, we just want to shout out. Thank you for who you are and what you do in this world. Special shout out to Melody Peralt. I'm wearing her t-shirt. Awesome artist on Instagram. Uh, very cannabis centric, sexual power, sexuality, and expressiveness. Love Melody Peralt. Shout out to her and all the women today on National Women's Day. And so I want to introduce our guest, Sophia. Can you give us a little background about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Sophia Julio. I am a medical patient here in Illinois. Um, that's how I started off in the cannabis industry. I nice. uh, got into volunteering in the cannabis industry for different nonprofits. Now I work for a cannabis cultivator called Grassroots Cannabis here in Illinois. We are a multi-state operator and now I am the founder of Propicana. Nice. And our goal is to take back the narrative that the war on drugs and anti-cannabis propaganda created for generations of people, especially minority communities in the cannabis space. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Sophia is is taking back the narrative herself and that's amazing and we're part of a lot of a group of a lot of people who are you know writing their own own book because the opportunities aren't there with easy access for women and people of color especially in the cannabis industry it's it's a huge money industry so if you don't have money your voice isn't heard so we need to do things like this podcast her page mm -hmm. Propicana, give her a follow on uh, Instagram's at Propicana. Yeah, yeah, you can find me at Propicana um, as well as Propicana.card.co, card with two R's. Uh, that is the website that I'm currently on right now. So awesome! Mm -hmm. Check it out. Give her a follow. Check out her stuff. So we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about how, as a kid, we had all these crazy, you know, examples of what weed was. You know, it kills brain cells. It makes you stupid. It's a gateway drug. You know, yeah. and just how alcohol is promoted and weed is the devil and now weed's legal and we're finally coming around to the healing properties of it and what what it actually can do for you and that it's not doesn't make you lazy and it doesn't you know make you get into other drugs we have to separate people's bad habits from the plant and that it can be used for all these benefits so we're, we're gonna talk about when you're a kid like what were some examples or an example of a time like that you were introduced to weed as a negative thing? I mean, there's so many crazy examples, but I feel like the one that stuck with me the most is that weed would detriment my growth overall, just mm -hmm. as a person, uh, both physically, mentally, spiritually, um, especially within my career. I think that it was really pushed on me, not only with family, but also just societal norms that cannabis would you know cause you to be lazy cause you to not really put your best self forward and, and just kind of stagnate and that was something that really stuck with me for a while until I decided to try it and and I was really scared to do that actually and so it's something that you know really broke me out of that shell mm -hmm. and I think that it truly changed the way that I, I saw about saw cannabis and and since I tried it, it it's just been a medicine ever since. So mm -hmm. the way that cannabis has been portrayed to me was just incredibly it was it was just incredibly detrimental in my head for a long time. And you know, I also saw that within other people. And so being able to pull myself out of that mindset has been incredibly opportunistic and just overall healing for myself so yeah and ironically people said it would like slow you down in your career and now you have a career within the industry yes. yeah. so it's like not only is the actually actual plant giving to you but like the it's the its effect on the world is now providing you with like a living and money yeah. so it's crazy how that that changes so now like what are some of the things how I met Sophia was through a uh, movement in medicine yeah. shout out to Jean shout out to movement in medicine which is there's some really, really dope people out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah. Cannabis yeah. yoga, cannabis events that are centered around like healthy habits, you know, not like just partying to, to check out, but like 
partying to engage and to elevate, like party with a purpose. Yeah. And so that's how we met. So that's like the positive part of, of cannabis yeah, too. Yeah, it, it just brings community overall. And, right. and you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but it really truly helps you center yourself and, and just become more aware of just the things that are going on in your body and, and your brain and, and really allows you to become aware of you know who you are and what your goals are and I think that it's an amazing plant that has been graced on this earth mm -hmm. so it's something that For we sure. need to continue to you know research about and I think that sustainability and education and policy reform need to be at the forefront of the industry for sure. I agree. Yeah. Shout out to Sophia. Thank you for being our first guest on Absolutely. the podcast. Happy National Women's Day. Shout out to all the women in the cannabis industry. Thank you for being on the podcast. Absolutely. Follow Sophia on, what are your handles? Uh, Instagram, so there's three underscores and then it's Philosophia, as in philosophy, um, lover of wisdom here for you guys. Check and it yeah, out. Check me out. And Propicana. And Propicana. Which is just yeah. at Propicana. I'll put the ads on the screen. Smoke some weed. Thank a woman in your life today. And <laughs> send, have a good send one. Send so much love. Send love. <laughs> Peace.